Hey guys, this is William in today's video. We're going to do an SEO audit. That's right, we're going to do an SEO audit tutorial, an SEO audit tutorial. So my name is William. In today's video, we're going to do an SEO audit tutorial. I had a client recently reach out to me. He wants me to do an audit for him. So we're going to go ahead and dive right into that and go ahead and do this you know audit for him it's for a construction company and we'll go ahead and dive right into that so it's pretty much just a basic website it looks pretty much basic we'll see what they got going on here they, i do like you got the fact you got a sticky menu up here which means as i move i want if you will this menu right here i want it to follow me I want it to follow me because people, you know, tend to not know where to look for phone numbers and you want to always have it in their face, right? Next thing I'm looking for is what are your main keywords and are you using the proper H1 tags? For this, I use a little tool. It is called SEO Meta in one click. I can click on it and it will tell me any issues, how many headers you have. What headers do you have? You have H1. Your H1 is the local roofing company that delivers the best results, positive return on investment in the Maryland, D.C. area. That's like a mouthful, like big time mouthful, all right? This to me is way too much information for an H1 header. I would have much rather preferred it just to be best local roofing company, Maryland, D.C., something like that, something short and sweet but it's not me so that's what i personally would want to do you have your call to action great um, your click to call up here that's great your free quote that's great um, that's good okay you have an embed for your google reviews that's good you still would need your in you need to not just do this embed right here right not just do this but I would actually also then take these same text reviews, right? And then I want to take these reviews and I want to take every review that this company has or as many as possible, let's say 20 or 30, and embed them as text reviews on your website as well and hyperlink them to the reviewer's profiles. We'll look at some more stuff here as well. You have your map embedded on the home page. It's good. Free console. I got information down here. That's good. You got a chat bot down here. That's good. Services. All right. You have your services pages. You don't have enough content on your services pages. I preferably want about 1,500 words of content on every page. And I know in roofing, there's more than just residential roofing. There's asphalt roofing, tilted roofing, flat roofing, um, shingle roofing, metal roofing. There's all types of different types of roofing. And you want a page for every single one of those types of roofing services, gutters, siding, same thing. You want at least 1,500 words of content on each one of these pages. And you don't have nowhere near that. So for example, if I was to select everything on this page and I go, okay, how many words do you got? You got 289 words, which is nowhere near enough, okay? And then if I look at, let's just go and we're going to look at your images and everything on here. You're missing alt tags. You're missing keywords in your images. I mean, there's multiple things you have going on here. Let's look at the images here, you know. All these images, none of these have keywords in them, okay? Um, some of them do, but most of them do not. Then I go over here, I wanna look at your page speed. And I look at your page speed from your last Google Core Vitals. I wanna check that out and take a look at that. So we're gonna click on that. You know, these are all just, if you will, basics of on-page SEO. Right. If you don't have my tutorial and you're watching this video, make sure to comment below and I will give you my website audit toolkit in which I show you step by step on what you're looking for regarding an audit. Okay, Because when you're looking at an audit, 
and you're looking at a website, there's multiple different things that you're going to look for. All right, this is just a basic, really quick audit. But that being said, whenever I'm actually looking for, you know, looking at your audit, we're going to go back and look at this, right? And we have foundations, you know, or do you got Google Search Console, Google Analytics? You know, do you got permalink set up? What's your permalinks like? Permalinks are your are your links pretty, basically. Are they short and sweet like this? But you know, your service pages should be named, for example, roofing plus the city you're trying to get ranked in, right? In this case, gutter installation plus Baltimore, gutter installation plus Washington, wherever you're trying to get ranked for, okay? And we go through all these steps make sure it loads fast does your website load fast no it's terrible terrible page speed even on desktop it's terrible okay see so we want to check that out then i go okay it doesn't load fast the links are short which are these but you're not using your proper keywords in it have you optimized your 404 page 404 pages if i go try to go to let's say i'm going to try willy wonka it should be a 404 page that says, hey, this page don't exist. But do you have it optimized? By optimization, I could, for example, optimize this to go to my GMB listing. Or, hey, you want fast help or you need super fast help or you want to contact us ASAP, click here. They click there and it takes them to the GMB. And that's a little CTR tactic we can use as well. Um, have you got anywhere on your website where people can share your contact, you know, your information? If I go to your blog posts, is there a place on here where I can share? Great, you have that. Your articles are longer than most. You have that good thing going for you. Um, my articles, when we do them, are 1,500 words. You need to post a hell of a lot more often, especially in the roofing industry. You know, once, you know, once a month is not going to, you know, is not going to really cut it, especially in a very competitive area. You need about four posts a month at minimum, four press releases a month at minimum. Um, those are just minor things. Then I can go further down here, you know, and go into what type of server are you using? Are they fast? You got your images compressed? Were they optimized? Were your images optimized before you uploaded them? Did you put geotagging information? You haven't done any of that. Okay, so what I would want to do is all the basics of the get your foundations right, then get your content done and everything else, okay? Because you're going to need to do all that. We have on our website several packages that you can choose from. If you go to my website, rankfortress.com, and you go to our different packages down here. The package I'm going to suggest, especially for competitive niche, is this one right here, which is $14.97. One step down is going to be the $7.97, and that's the second best one I would choose if you want to get this ranked within three months. Three to six months is what you're looking at right here. So I hope this was informative for you, and I hope you learned something from this. Once again, if you do not have my toolkit, you're going to want to make sure you comment below so I can get you my toolkit and I go through all of this on the audit, what we do as far as local SEO, off page, on page, etc. Once again, I appreciate this. I appreciate the opportunity of being able to audit your website, man. And I hope this was informative for you. Ken, I'm going to drop this video over to you. And I appreciate it. You guys be blessed and have a great day. So many SEOs that hate me and say that I'm still in their methods. They bitching and cry, labeling me SEO Black Hatter was a nobody. Now I'm at the top, most wanted, most loved, bad business owners, and hated by most SEO opponents.